Hello friends, this is Val Wolf from Christ Healing Center in Durban, South Africa. And I want to speak to you something. In fact, I've been wanting to speak to you about this certain issue for a little while. And, uh, and it's my testimony as well. And you know, I love to share testimonies. So um, I want to speak to you on being careful who speaks over your life and ministry. And believe me, <clears throat> praise the Lord, I have learned my lesson and uh, just grown deeper and deeper in the Lord. And I believe that this message will help you. So, yes, we thank the Lord for his leading. So, um, I know many of you have been subscribed to us for a while and some of you have watched our videos. And perhaps four years ago, you watched a video concerning a lady who came into our, our church and the demon spoke through her concerning the future of my life, my ministry, my health. And this video clip was up for quite some time. And then I took it down. You know, <laughs> the Lord was speaking so much to me. And I just want to caution all those out there who do deliverance because friends you know we grow in grace and in the knowledge of jesus christ and every day the lord is teaching us things you know we haven't arrived yet and we also have situations along our way and we need discernment so that we can understand the path that the lord is leading us to so this lady had come into the ministry she came in and she's had you know the demons in her started to cry and this was possibly sort of the end of 2018 and uh, they were crying a lot and she was manifesting she started to speak and then in about early December of that year she started to speak things concerning my life and my ministry um, she was heavily controlled by demonic spirits that was speaking out of her and um, for a time I had thought that she had come to help help me and uh, in fact you know we need to be very discerning and at the time I wasn't so I was listening to the lies that were coming out and friends at times um, the truth was being spoken yes and um, yes but um, there were a lot of things being said that um, were really questionable as well. So, yes, I just want to say, let me try and put it this way, um, because I love these people. You know, people come along and they want to pray for me and I'm very thankful for prayers. Believe me, I'm thankful for prayers because I need it too. But the source of the power so we have had people come along speaking things you know over me and not just this lady but a, a little while after she had come another lady had come um, and all she was speaking about was death over me and because I believed the lies at a time I laid it up in hospital I, I couldn't handle this because I would pray for people and they would just start shouting, these demons shouting out of them, just speaking death over me. And it was getting to me. It was getting to my heart. I help a lot of people. And believe me, I don't expect to hear these things back. But I know what we fight against. And I know that the demons do not like me praying over people and uh, people are being set free. Hallelujah. So the devil sends his agents and he sends people who are not even, not, they don't even know that they've been used to the devil to try and bring me down or try and bring ministers down. I've seen this happen in other ministries as well, um, where we were at a point of breakthrough and the devil sent his people along and they didn't even know that they were being used of the devil. Now, friends, a few questions had gone through my mind to the Lord and I had said, surely now um, I'm going to hear from the Lord through the Holy Spirit, through a prophet that, you know, the Lord has, has blessed me with prophetic gift as well. And I thank God for that because 
I, I praise God, perhaps that's, I'm here today because I, I heard his voice. But a prophet will speak by the Holy Spirit. A prophet will not speak through demons. Now, I, th I thank God. This is all I can really say, friends, is I really thank God because that was nearly the end of me. Uh, October 2020. Yep, in the middle of COVID, I was in hospital for four days. And I, I knew the source of what was happening. And I knew that this wasn't a medical situation. And that I had to get out and I did I signed a disclaimer form and I said I'm getting out of here and I felt terrible I actually felt that this was it but I had believed lies the another woman had come along just saying I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you and can you just imagine you know friends the power of the the tongue is so important and um, and we need to be careful how we speak over people and this is I was believing lies and as you think so you are and we preach it yes and it's the truth that sets us free but we need to be careful who we agree with and uh, yeah so they tried everything they possibly could do to to stop me from from moving forward uh, sending others and there were a lot of others that that came as well and just constantly I, I would actually I would actually say to Eugene, I really don't want to continue doing these deliverance services because people are coming speaking terrible things against me and all the hurt was actually getting to me. And um, so praise the Lord. And I thank God for Eugene because he has a lot of discernment as well. And uh, he was helping me to understand that these people were not saints of the Lord. And I was saying to him, but... But they're praying for me, you know, and, and they're revealing things. But we had always prayed that the Lord would protect us and that he would show us the source of what they are trying to do, what they're trying to come and speak uh, over me uh, with all these words that are just from the darkness, friends. You know, lots of demons speak out during the services. And lately you would have seen, I'm not interested. I'm really not interested in what the devil has to say. And a lot of ministries want to, you know, they're excited, you know, they, they, they want to get all their views and everything because of the manifestations and of all these things that are happening. And of course, it happens in our ministry too. But friends, no, 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 no. We need to be very, very careful um, about how we move in our ministry because the devil is out there like a roaring lion and he wants to see who will agree with him who he can devour and he sends people along and these people don't even know that they're being used that's why i'm telling you friends i forgive these people because they don't know we even had another person who came along uh, who wanted to lay hands over people and uh, was operating um, definitely not from the holy spirit so we've really had to have discernment and we had to do a lot of damage control as well after this person had come and uh, you know god deals with with people and our what we need to do is just to forgive people from our heart and this is what i do so i'm just saying that whoever these people were that came along i forgive them uh, absolutely from my heart and uh, that's what we have to do as Christians forgive and let the Lord deal with whatever um, is on their heart and whatever they try and do um, yeah but you know God if God is for us who can be against us and the Lord has kept me and he's blessed me and he's just shown me things as well but he also has shown me not to believe the lies over my life over my ministry as well so yes so friends after much prayer i am now free from the lies of the devil i will not listen to what they say during deliverance and i thank god for showing me this truth and uh, i just want to caution ministries especially deliverance ministries out there not to listen to their lies um because they see that you're listening to them and they will 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 give you more information so just be very careful the source of the power okay so um, if it's not the holy spirit um, and the demons are speaking out 
about your future just please be very careful um, because also friends you know these people don't realize the amount of trauma pain and suffering that I actually went through um, after they came along and they thought that they were actually coming to help me and really friends there was no help at all I have since taken down those uh, um, videos because um, of the hurts just the way the devil was backlashing uh, you know it was lashing or at least lashing out at me uh, through those those videos and uh, it was very hurtful so sure. I've learned my lesson for sure and I've learned to forgive and to move on so friends um, uh, that's why I'm also careful that I don't just let anyone come to pray in the ministry now um, have you ever considered the source of the power behind the person that is praying? Some are sent of God and some are not sent of the Lord. And we need to consider the source of that power because um, there are counterfeits, there are false spirits out there that try and come in to deceive. And that's why we need to watch and pray all the time. Um, Yes, uh, because many are desperate for prayer uh, without knowing the source of who is laying hands upon you. And I've known some ministries that will just say to everyone, just, just, just come, just come lay hands. And um, so often people have come to us asking us to please pray. And you'll see it on the Zoom, on the Zoom uh, sessions. People, please pray because a minister lay at hands and now things are, are, are very strange. Things Strange things are happening because there's that kund, kundalini spirit out there that is in the world. It really is, friends. And people deny it. They don't, you know, they, they, wanna, they don't want people to know the source of their power. So they're saying, no, no, don't speak about it. You know, friends, these things. Are out there and Jesus you know he even called them a brood of vipers and he was he was really if you have a look at Matthew 24 uh, it says a lot about them so he was very very um, concerned about about his people and about his people being deceived by others as well so yes there's the true and the counterfeit and I speak about this quite often friends but um, yeah, you know, the devil knows that um, when it's your time to succeed, when it's your time to, um, to move fully into your calling, he wants to try and to send prideful or jealous people along uh, just at that point of breakthrough. And um, yeah, <laughs> and yes, even along to your church. Yes, he shows up at church as well. And um you know, there's, there, we've seen so many things over the years, friends, of even well-meaning people who would come along to the church collecting cell phone numbers um, to speak against me. And uh, this has happened as well. So how strange, how strange is it that people um, feel that they are led of the Holy Spirit, but they're not. Uh, they just want to cause division and um, no love so friends we're beginning to see breakthrough happen in the ministry we're seeing wonderful breakthroughs happen we're traveling all around now and uh, it's just, i'm really so excited to see the grace and the blessings that are happening now i'm delivered i'm set free from the lies of the enemy and i'm so thankful friends <laughs> you know this ministry is such a journey and it's a journey that we grow in every day. Um, I find that ministries that just grow up overnight is a cause for concern because there's a wilderness period. We've got to go through the wilderness and we will go up from that wilderness leaning on our beloved and thanking the Lord for the journey and the ups and downs that he is, has taken us through because he disciplines those he loves. Yes, so it's good. I'm glad. I'm glad for the discipline. I'm glad that he showed me that don't listen to the lies of the devil. And many people have believed the lies of the devil out there to their own demise. And, um, and he works a lot trying to deceive ministers out there, people who were originally 
called of God um, who are now not operating in God's power and uh, it's very sad friends um, you know people love the world they love everything in it they love the lusts of the world they want the the growth that comes from the world but friends promotion only comes through the Lord and that's the only promotion we want to get and no matter how long it's taking wait wait because it's glorious when it comes so friends uh, yes so I will never believe the lies of the devil again nor even be in agreement to what they are saying out of people and um, yeah <laughs> you know God is gonna send God sends and he already has he sends the right people along and uh, we need to know the difference in our lives and friends perhaps I'm speaking to somebody out there as well in the ministry or just somebody who's not even in the ministry that has been deceived by the lies that have come out of people's mouth uh, against them friends if it doesn't line up with the Word of God um, it's not from God so just know the source of the spirit that is speaking through the people um, and if it's not the Holy Spirit please run run as fast as you can just run 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 get away from anything that is not of God and most importantly learn to forgive those who've hurt you just forgive them forgive them for what they've spoken out and for what they've even put on you we have redemption in Christ um, if we confess our faults he's faithful and just to forgive and cleanse us and uh, and he is with us and God is is wanting us uh, above all things to prosper and to be in good health even as our soul prospers <clears throat> so praise the Lord I thank the Lord for healing me I'm a lot wiser now and um, have learned so much in the spirit we are seeing people daily being set free and uh, it's wonderful it's all by the holy spirit friends and i just encourage you if you're on your path in ministry and uh, and you're just uh, waiting for that breakthrough to come don't go anywhere just look to the cross of jesus christ and just look to the lord and just keep on going for at the right time you will prosper amen amen so praise the lord I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm set free, and I give all glory to God, um, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, according to the power that is at work within us, our faith. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za. God bless you.